On behalf of the University of Strathclyde, I warmly welcome you to this, which is the very first of our graduation ceremonies for summer 2018. Graduations are a very special occasion, a time of celebration for our graduands, but also their families and friends, and for our staff too. I hope you enjoy the ceremony this afternoon. In a few moments' time, it's my privilege to cap each graduand as they cross the stage. This is a very ancient tradition, which is a rite of passage. It mar it's a mark of achievement for our graduands. And I hope you take the opportunity to celebrate and feel free to clap and cheer for your loved ones as they cross the stage. Graduation ceremonies are often known as commencement ceremonies um, simply because they're really a beginning rather than an end. And it's in this spirit that we adopt at the University of Strathclyde for our graduation ceremonies. I do hope you enjoy it. I declare the ceremony open and I invite Dr. Deborah Willison to present our students. Associate Principal, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for Research in the Department of Computer and Information Sciences, David Bell. For the degree of Master of Science in Information and Library Studies, Dara Scully. In Information Management with Industrial Placement, Prani Nangia. For the degree of Master of Engineering in Computer Science, Connor Campbell. <laughs> Lucy Cannon. <laughs> Stuart William Hamilton. Risto Ivanov Kotsailov. John Mitchell Watt. Ian Craig Routon. For the degree of Master of Pharmacy in Pharmacy, Dagmawi Orion de Bench. <laughs> Eva Jane Doolan. <laughs> Sarah Heather Grigor. Sarah Hay. <laughs> Nicola Hopewell. <laughs> Konstantinos Kutsodimos. Claire Ewan MacDonald. <laughs> Kerry Rebecca Maguire. <laughs> Joshua Miller. <laughs> Zen Mohammed. Yeah. 
Hannah Louise Reed. Astrid May Rose. Tiam Sahiri. Kate Tees. Lucy Victoria Younger. Jackson Frio. <laughs> Jennifer Adam. <laughs> Zubaida Rad Hasim Al Dahiri. Niall Stewart Alexander. <laughs> Amna Afshad. <laughs> Jalila Zainab Gosal Bari. Alana Blair. <laughs> Nicole Cara Boyle. <laughs> Kira Marianne Brennan. Sarah Burton. Sarah Ann Kearney. Shuen Lam Sabrina Chan. Wing Sum Leslie Chan. <laughs> Lucy Marie Carden Church. <laughs> Adam Connolly. Isabel Alexandra Crichton Stewart. <laughs> Rebecca Daly. <laughs> Adil Ali Din. Jonathan Paul Lawrence Doyle. Claire Louise Fryer. Caitlin Laura Fife. Emma Sandra Gibb. <laughs> Maria Catherine Gilbride. <laughs> Diliana Hadsi Koleva. Matthew Joseph Haley. <laughs> Louise Hay.
Rebecca Victoria Hills. Ellis Sarah Jackson. Gerline Cor Kayla. Gregor Gordon Keir. Lisa Kelly. Louisa Elizabeth Kelly. Danaya Asad Mohammed Ali Kenba. Andrew Scott Kerr. Faiza Khalil. Raymond Fu Man Lee. Francis Lowry. <laughs> Kieran McAteer. <laughs> Tay McEwen. <laughs> Iona Mary McGill. Raymond McGregor. Jordan McLean. Callum Thomas Edward McClelland. Fiona McMurray. Danielle Antonia Bernadette McStay. <laughs> Daniela Aneta Ana Maria Martorana. <laughs> Lindsay Sarah Miller. Ailey Margaret Milligan. <laughs> Laura Margaret Mills. <laughs> Anissa Mohammed. Sheba Susan Monitan. <laughs> Rebecca Elizabeth Morton. <laughs> Emma Mulligan. Alexandra Lucy Mundell. <laughs> Ross Andrew Murdoch. Erin <laughs> Claire Murray. Emma Carol Nelson.
Claire Newland. <laughs> Kirsten Jane Nicholson. <laughs> Hannah Olson. Monica O'Neill. <laughs> Emma Ormond. <laughs> Cheryl Jane Park. Sarah Maria Patterson. <laughs> Halima Rabia Rafiq. <laughs> Lewis Ramage. <laughs> Myra Rashid. Matthew David Rickey. <laughs> Anam Sahir Sadiq. <laughs> Emily Rose Sadiq. Wakas Shafiq. <laughs> Daniel Nader Shahid. <laughs> Joseph Declan Smith. Helen Stephen. <laughs> Sean Kenneth William Taylor. <laughs> Molly Claire Walker. Susan Megan Warnock. <laughs> Rachel Catherine Watt. <laughs> Kira Welsh. Gerard Leo West. <laughs> Julie Nicola Williams. <laughs> Abby Elizabeth Mary Williamson. Kainat Ahmed. <laughs> Faiza Ali. <laughs> Zona Amjed. Fariha Asif. <laughs> Christian Nikolaev Gadarov.
Olivia Gree. Christine Helen Hand. Beth Jessica Lafferty. Ross McLaren. Mark O'Donnell. Dermot O'Reilly. Sanya Kreshi. Caitlin Sarah Robinson. Merrin Elizabeth Sam. Antonia Harieva Svetkova. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Information Systems, Gregor Ben William Lowther. <laughs> Alexander William Robertson. <laughs> Stephen Dunn. In computer science, Ayodeji Akinyemi. <laughs> Ali Hassan Ali Al Lawati. <laughs> Mohammed Amin Belabez. Scott Black. <laughs> Michael Chan. <laughs> Christopher Conway. <laughs> Stephen Corcoran. Svetslozar Deskov Deskov. <laughs> Michael Ewart. <laughs> Graham Fife. <laughs> Dimitar Genov. Alexander Glenn. Adam Felix Gruber. Ian Joseph King. Christos Legantis. Thomas Gerard McLaughlin. <laughs> Sam Nicol. <laughs> Anna.
Anton Ognanov of Ritenov. <laughs> Lee John Robert Patterson. <laughs> Norbert Radvilovich. Craig Alex Robinson. Andrew Michael Thompson. Stephen John Wilson. Omar Abdullah. Syed Yasser Ahmed. <laughs> Stuart Baker. <laughs> Jacob Bowman. <laughs> Stephen Brakey. Greg Cairns. <laughs> Ross Michael Calder. <laughs> Edward John Caldwell. <laughs> Stuart Robert George Gilmore. Stephen Allen Gray. <laughs> Linus Heckerman. <laughs> Chris Hodgson. <laughs> Daniel Hristoff. Sotiris Louisu. <laughs> Rachel Hope Maley. <laughs> Lisa Mason. Craig Miller. <laughs> Graham Pagan. <laughs> Gregory James Peters. <laughs> Samuel Thomas Philip Stafford. Avercus Vukilatus Watt. <laughs> Nicole Maria Sharn Belvisi. <laughs> Jacqueline June Catlin. Christopher Crawford. <laughs> Matthias Covesi. <laughs> Kimberly Michelle Pringle. <laughs> Ye 
Ying Jun Ye. Sonash Beg. In Software Engineering, Liam Cairns Kelly. Sean Thomas McMahon. J. Adams Moffat. Stephen Joseph Moore. Scott Morrison. Callum Peter. Sean Rowan. Fraser Jonathan Graham. Kyle James McCann. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, but most of all to our graduates, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here to the Barony Hall. I would like to start by congratulating our graduates once again for their academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off, and today it has been recognized in front of your families, your friends, and the staff who taught you and supported you for so many years. We know just how much work you've put in to be here today, and you should all feel really very proud. The great American athlete, Jesse Owens, once said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. All of our graduates here today have shown these qualities in abundance, and you've taken a huge step towards realizing your dreams. Today, in these magnificent surroundings, we celebrate your achievements. Very well done to all of you. At the end of this ceremony, you will be asked to join the academic procession as it makes its way down the aisle. And this invitation symbolizes the fact that you are no longer students, but full members of the academic community of Strathclyde University. Today is a very important day for you. The class of 2018 is graduating at a time of considerable global change in Scotland, the UK, and internationally. There is just no question that challenges lie ahead for all of us here. But as a Strathclyde graduate, you belong to a worldwide community with a shared ethos of tolerance, an international outlook, and a desire to make a difference. Whatever dreams you pursue in life, remember that you possess the most valuable assets that anyone can have in today's world knowledge, the ability to innovate, 
and the capacity to use your talents for the good of society. We will actively keep in touch with you through our alumni team, and I would ask that you too please keep in touch with us. We would love to hear about your achievements as you progress through your lives and your career, and we look forward to hearing from you once again. The advice and guidance given by our alumni helped to provide the first class education and student experience that you all had at Strathclyde. And I, now, and I now ask that you think of those who will follow in your footsteps. Now, I am sure that you will have received lots of advice on how to make the best of your lives. Um, some advice you'll probably ignore, quite rightly. Some of advice will stick with you, but most you are going to have to learn for yourselves. To reach this point in your life today, each of you have traveled a very different journey. For some, the path has been relatively straightforward. For others, the path has been more difficult. But none of you would be here without the support of your family and friends. And they are celebrating today, not just because you're almost, almost off the payroll, but I'm sure they're very happy about that, but mostly because you carry with you their hopes and dreams and their confidence that you can make this a better world. So I'd like to invite our graduates to turn, perhaps to their left, to try and locate their friends and their family and to show your appreciation for the support they've given you over the past few years. Well done. In Scotland, we are very fortunate in having a higher education system which is the envy of the world. Scotland invests in its universities and colleges. And that's not just because education broadens the mind, though it does. It's also because education creates opportunities for individuals and societies. And as Strathclyders, we carry a sense of duty to use what we have learned wisely and for the good of others. The desire to make a positive impact on the world comes naturally to graduates of Strathclyde. This is the only university that was founded during the Enlightenment period, and it embodies Enlightenment principles of reason, tolerance, and equality. In 1796, the university's founder, John Anderson, a professor of natural philosophy, physics, at the University of Glasgow, he bequeathed a sum of money for the foundation of a rival college to which tradesmen, artisans, and women would be admitted. And it's reputed that in the very first few years of Anderson's College, between 1797 and 1800, half of the 972 students were women. Now, this great experiment in women's education was undermined by the lack of opportunities for women to put their learning into practice. But the example of Anderson's College, a century ahead of its time, was taken up by campaigners for women's education in the 19th century. The University of Strathclyde today is a modern incarnation of Anderson's founding philosophy, a leading international, technological, and socially progressive university. We are both rooted in our local community and avowedly international and we are proud of our capacity to transform the lives of our students. We're also very proud of our founders' pioneering commitment to women's education, a commitment that, of course, remains steadfast. John Anderson believed in useful learning, and his commitment to use knowledge for the greater good is the motivating force which gives Strathclyde its momentum today. Strathclyde's focus on useful learning can be seen in our business school, which was named Business School of the Year in the Times Higher Education Awards in 2016. It can be seen in our Advanced Forming Research Centre, which sets new standards in design and manufacturing. And also in our Technology and Innovation Centre, which is transforming the way that academics collaborate with business, industry, and the public sector 
to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. The Technology and Innovation Centre is a tangible sign of the university's commitment to world-class research and ensuring that outcomes have the maximum benefit to society and the economy. These are just some of the many innovative projects and initiatives led by our world-class academics who are taking new knowledge and using it to solve problems in industry, in the classroom, and in boardrooms. As you may have noticed today, as you've been walking around the university campus, we're currently developing our campus to enable us to do even more. Our new Strathclyde Sport Building on Cathedral Street opens this summer, and our new Learning and Teaching Building will open in 2020. This significant investment in our estate, some £650 million over a decade, is an important demonstration of our commitment to our students' education and their university life. Within the science faculty, it has been a very successful year and we celebrate staff and student success. Strathclyde was ranked first in the UK for pharmacy and pharmacology in the 2019 Complete University Guide. Our Fraunhofer Centre for Applied Photonics received an investment of more than £5 million from the Scottish Government and Scottish Enterprise. In SIBS, the Strathclyde Institute for Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Sciences, a team led by Dr. Shuzo Sakata is exploring a novel approach to enhancing brain activity in a bid to prevent Alzheimer's taking, taking hold. Strathclyde is also a partner in the new Scottish Highfield NMR Centre, which will study materials and molecular structures and their applications in healthcare and environmental science. A new source of intense terahertz radiation, which could offer a less harmful alternative to X-rays, is being developed by scientists in physics, led by Professor Dino Jarosinski. And the physics department also has been responsible for helping to solve the mystery of X-ray emissions from comets, um, a team uh, including uh, Professor Bob Bingham, and I'm assured that he's going to tell us all about it afterwards. In pure and applied chemistry, Dr. Holly Butler won the Women in Innovation category of the Global Game Changers Award, while Joshua Barham was one of three winners of the Reaxis PhD Prize for Outstanding Young Chemistry Researchers. Hannah Lithgow was among four winners of the prestigious Salters Institute Centenary Award, and PhD student Jason Williams won a bronze award in STEM for Britain held at the House of Commons. Professor Ian Ruthven in Computing and Information Sciences was appointed chair of the board of the Scottish Library and Information Council, and mathematics and, st and statistics student Holly MacArthur competed with Scotland's athletic squad at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. As you can see, our science faculty is leading research in energy, in health, manufacturing, and technology. And this is why our graduates are so highly prized by companies looking to recruit the best talents to drive their businesses forward, and why global companies such as Rolls-Royce, GSK and Boeing are investing here at Strathclyde. Now, our success is in no small part due to the collective talent, effort and commitment of our 3,700 members of staff who are pulling together to deliver one vision, a leading international, technological and socially progressive university. Like me, they are very proud of your achievements. And I know that the class of 2018 will demonstrate the power of useful learning. I know that you will make your dreams a reality. And I know that you will make a difference to the world in which we all live. Thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, ceremony this afternoon. I now declare the ceremony closed. 
I hope that our new graduates are going to join the academic procession as we go down the aisle. Please fall in at the end. And if families and friends could stay in the hall until the procession has left, and then I hope you're all going to join us for a reception in the Lord Todd building. Thank you very much indeed. I now declare the ceremony closed. Thank you.